in videos 7 and 7b, um, we talked about the mechanics of matrix multiplication. We still have a few more things to say on that subject, so we'll call this video uh, 7b. Again, in video 7, we define matrix multiplication, went through the me mechanics of it in some detail, and then in video 7a, we discussed in more detail different ways of approaching a matrix multiplication situation. And here then in video 7b, we're going to try to wrap this up. Um, a reminder, the playlist for all the videos is at the website, digital-university.org. Now, as we discussed in the previous video, if you're going to multiply a matrix by a row, we have to do it from the left, and we do it so that the first element here multiplies the entire first row, the second element here multiplies the second row, and the third element here multiplies the third row, giving us this expression. Now, let's think about this in terms of a slightly different problem. Suppose that we have this matrix and we want to take it to row reduction form. So the first thing we want to do is make this a zero. And of course, we could do that easily enough. Just multiply the first row by negative two and then add. We can certainly do that. But now, based upon what we just learned in the previous video and what we just demonstrated again here concerning the mechanics of multiplying a matrix by a row, now can we think of, well, what matrix would we multiply this by so that we multiply the first row by minus 2 and add it to the second row? So let's think this through. Here we have our matrix. We want to multiply this by some other matrix so that the first row is multiplied by minus 2 and we add it to the second row. We want the first and third rows to be unchanged. So what matrix do we multiply it by? Well, the first row is unchanged. And remember now, when we're multiplying it a matrix by a row, how do we do it? The first element in the row, or the first element here, multiplies the first row. This multiplies the second row. This multiplies the third row. Well, for our problem, we don't want to change the first row. We just want to change this one. So we want this one to be unchanged. So the first row here would just be 1, 0, 0. Multiply the first row by 1 add 0 times the second row, add 0 times the third row. And that gives us then just this. Just like we did here. It's this times this row plus this times this row plus this times this row. Well, if this is 1, and that's 0, and that's 0, then we're going to have 1 times the first row plus 0 plus 0. That's just going to give us the first row. And that is what we've done right here. It's this times this row plus 0 times this one plus 0 times this one. So it gives us the first row. And also, we want the third row to be unchanged. So what do we multiply it here? Then down here it would be 0, 0, 1. 0 times the first row plus 0 times the second row plus 1 times the third row gives us the third row. Now when I think about here we want to multiply the first row by minus 2 
and add it to this row. So we have minus 2. This here is what we multiply the first row by, minus 2. The number here is what we multiply the second row by, so this would be 1. So now we have minus 2 times this, plus 1 times this, and 0 times this. So we have minus 2 times the first row, plus 1 times the second row. So we have minus 2 plus 2, that's 0, which is what we wanted. Then we have minus 2 plus 4, that's plus 2. Then we have minus 2 plus 3, that's plus 1. So that's our matrix right here, and that was obtained by minus 2 times the first row plus the second row. Everything else, these, of course, remain untouched. And that's exactly what we did right here, multiplying this matrix by this matrix. So again, let's just think about the mechanics of that. Here, this is what multiplies the first row, so just multiplying it by 1. Then we're adding 0 to it, so that just gives us the first row. Here we're multiplying the first row by minus 2, plus 1 times the second row. Add 0 to it, that gives us this expression. Now here we have 0 times the first row, 0 times the second row, plus 1 times the third row. 1 times 358 is just 358. So the first rows and the third rows are unchanged. We simply multiplied the first row by minus 2 and added it to the second row, giving us this matrix. Now, suppose that with this matrix, we want to make this 0. And that's easy enough. We just multiply the first column by minus 3 and then add it, or the first row by minus 3, and add it to that row. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3, plus 3 is 0. But let's think now how we can do this with the matrix operation. So we have this, and instead of multiplying the first row by minus 3, and then adding it to the third row, we're going to think of, well, what matrix can we multiply this by that does the same thing for us. So we have this matrix. Times some other matrix. OK. we want to do is multiply the first row by minus 3 and add it to that one so this comes out as 0 when we do the when we multiply and add up the corresponding row elements but now let's think what kind of matrix operation would do this we want the first row and the second row to be unchanged so what do we multiply this by this multiplies the first row and what do, we, what do we want to add to the first row? Nothing. We want to be unchanged. We have two zeros here. 1 times the first row plus 0 times the second row plus 0 times the third row gives us the first row here. Now, we want the second row to be unchanged. We don't want to add anything to it. So, here we have 0 times the first row plus 1 times the second row, we want that, plus 0 times the third row. So this will give us the second row here. 0 times the first row plus 1 times the second row plus 0 times the third row just gives us the second row. Now, to get our 
to get our desired result, multiply the first row by minus 3, add to the third row. So here, the first row is multiplied by minus 3. We don't want to add anything from the second row. It's just the first row added to the third row. So we have 0 here and then 1 here. And what does this mean? It means minus 3 times the first row, nothing from here, plus 1 times the third row. So we have minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Minus 3 plus 5 is 2. And minus 3 plus 8 is 5. So this is minus 3 times the first row plus the third row to give us this expression. But instead of thinking of it like this, we could multiply this by this matrix to give us the same result. And again, the reason why it works out like that is because of the mechanics that take place when you think of multiplying a matrix by a row on its left. Knowing how this works out sets us up as to how to think through what kind of matrix to put here on the left so that we can get the desired row operations that we're trying to achieve. Here we were taking minus 2 times the first row and adding it to the second row. That's what this matrix did. Then here we want to take minus 3 times the first row add it to the third row. That's what this matrix did. So again, being more familiar with the mechanics of uh, matrix multiplication, we can understand then if we want to perform various operations like this, how we can do it by setting up the appropriate matrix. Now, notice here that we had um, a matrix 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, and we multiplied it on the left by this matrix. What happens if we take this matrix and multiply it on the right by this matrix? So here we have 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 3, 5, 8. That's right here. Then this matrix, instead of being on the left, is on the right. Okay, let's think of this now in terms of matrix multiplication as we did in the previous video, realizing that the columns here are going to be a linear combination of these columns. And how do we get them? Well, it's the first column is 1 times this column, minus 2 times this column, 0 times this column. So we're going to have this column minus 2 times that column. So we're going to have 1 minus negative 2. That's negative 1. Then here we're going to have 2. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And 2 times this is minus 10. 3 minus 10 is minus 7. Then for the rest of the columns, we have 0 times the first one, plus 1 times the second one, plus 0 times the third one. So it just gives us the second column. And for the third column, it's 0 times the first one, plus 0 times the second one, plus 1 times the third one. It gives us this. And again, if you want to check to make sure that we did this correctly, let's go over and down. We have 1 here, then we have minus 2 and 0. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Then here 
in here, 2 minus 8 is negative 6, and then going here and here, 3 minus 10 is negative 7. So no matter how we do it, of course, we get the same answer. The point is that here, when this is on the left and we're doing our column operations, it is minus the first row plus the second row. Everything else is unchanged. Here, when we put it on the right, it ends up being 1 times the first column minus 2 times the second column. The other two columns remaining unchanged. So when we multiply on the left, we scramble the rows. We multiply it on the right, we scramble the columns, giving us this answer. OK, I think that's it for matrix multiplication. Uh, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll try and work through some more problems.